Commander Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time in that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast man, Phelps. You might get along after all. As much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, the aren't members. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators are our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. You all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? Detective, I was first on scene. All these people are bolsters, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. What now? Ignore the reporters. Just get the juice from the reporting officer in the corner. Require scrubbing and elbow grease. Lemon wash cuts grease and tints it white down the drain. And since lemon wash removes spots from pots and pans, use it to remove the grease spots that occasionally get unclosed and that moths love to eat upon. All these cuts. It's gotta be something big, right? This is a secure area. You all need to leave. Huh. I can tell you're lying. Your lips are moving. If 
you were twice as smart, you'd still be. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. That's a guy from the papers. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Here she is. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Deirdre Muller by R&I. Back in a second. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. And have this wrapped up by lunch. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? You know the way. You can drive. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over.
Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back in... Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. My partner will explain everything we just expect. No sign of a wedding ring. Everything here is going to be relevant. Nope. 